We're going to show you how to make the seashell token. Welcome to the first uh, tutorial video. This is my sister Olivia. She's 11 years old. You will need clear elastic string, a lobster clasp, one jump ring, two crimp beads. They are important. A measuring tape. <laughs> crimp pliers. Any kind of plier will work. Scissors, and last but not least, seashells. I got mine on Amazon. Um, they come in a big pack. They're called puka shells, and they look like this. And they're real. They are real because some of them have sand in them. You're going to measure the size of the necklace that you would want. So for mine, we're going to make one for Olivia. Yay! <laughs> And her size is 12 inches. So we're going to measure out 12 inches. Don't cut it yet, but give it a couple inches so that way you have room to cut if you need to. And if it's too small, you can always put an extension. So that is the 12 inches. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half so that it's double. And then you can cut it. Good. It's hard to see because it's clear, but I'll show you up close. So this is what it'll look like. So a little loop and two strands. Your lobster clasp, put it through one of the ends. So you can see, I put the lobster clasp through one of the ends and make sure it's in the center. There it is, it's attached to the elastic strand. And what you're gonna do is take one of your crimp beads and put it over both of the strands. It should go over both of them. And pull that down. So that way the lobster clasp is on the bottom and the crimp bead is next to it. Then you're going to take your pliers, or the crimping tool, and you are going to basically squish the crimp bead down, and it should flatten. And that way the lobster clasp stays, and the crimp bead should not move, and there you go. There's the start of your necklace. You can choose just to use shells, or this is an additional option, you may also need um, big beads. So what you're gonna do, if you want to put your beads on, you can. You put the bead on through both of the strings. And then, you're gonna take one of your shells. This is where it gets complicated, I think. You want to make sure that the shell faces the same way for all of them, so that way they line up evenly. This is an anklet that I made. All of the shells are facing the same way. You take the shell. This is the reason why you have two strands. So you're going to dedicate one of the strands to go through the front part of the shell, like this. So you're going to stick it through the front part, and you're going to hold that. The other strand is going to go through the back of the shell, like this. So they're going to cross over each other. So this is going through the back of the shell. So one goes through the front, one goes through the back. Then you're gonna make sure you slide it down all the way down to the bottom and pinch it tight. So it'll look something like this. You can choose to have your own pattern or design for this, but Libby wants to have five blacks between them. So I'll show you one more time. Then you wanna make sure that you pinch it tightly like that. Make sure the shells are relatively around the same size is gonna go through the front and then this one goes through the back and you gently slide down the shell to the bottom. It will look like that. It's gonna be fast forward right now.
this is what it looks like at the end. So when your neck up is complete, you're going to add your final crimp bead. You are going to add the jump ring through both of the strings. And you're going to take the ends of the strings and loop it back through the crimp bead. It will be a little loop. And then you're going to pull down on the string. Take your pliers again and squish the crimp bead. Be flat. And then you have your necklace. You're trim the excess. You're going to try it on. There you have it. She's wearing her new seashell choker. Choker is definitely fits me. Definitely fits. Very sturdy. Beads, same with the beads. The shells, you can always rotate them too. Whichever way you want. And it looks good! If you have any questions about how I did some of my methods, or about materials, where I got them, please comment down below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and hopefully some hauls in the future. Now on to bloopers! All right. We all are Mason! <laughs> so So you had to make the seashell chokers. Make the seashell shell. <laughs>